This is everything you need to know for Algebra 1, Part 7. So we're talking about the distributive property today, and you may have already heard of it, but basically it's just a way to rewrite expressions and use multiplication to simplify and solve. So the distributive property basically is a times parentheses b plus c is equal to a times b plus a times c. Basically just saying that we distribute or multiply this a by both terms inside the parentheses so that it's kind of regrouped. The same can be said even if it's a times b minus c. Okay, so it's gonna be equal to a times b minus a times c. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a couple of examples. So we have seven times parentheses, three x minus five. We're gonna distribute our seven to both terms inside the parentheses and we're just gonna multiply. So seven times three x, well seven times three is 21. And then we're just gonna let our x be there as well. And then seven times negative five is negative 35. So minus 35. So that expression is equal to 21x minus 35. All right, let's do one more. So we have eight times parentheses, x squared minus nine x plus five. Same thing, we're gonna distribute our eight to every term, and we're gonna get eight times x squared which is 8x squared, 8 times negative 9x, so negative 72x, and then 8 times 5, which is positive 40, so plus 40, and that would be our expression after we distribute our 8, and that is all you have to do. So I hope this video was helpful. If you wanna see more like this, go ahead and follow this account, like this video, and leave a comment. That way my videos show up in your For You page later on. We'll see you next time.